Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. All right now, listen. Before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 500 likes. That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate that daily 9 a.m. upload. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, we're gonna talk about the new Meta Paint Beast build. And I know for some of y'all, y'all gonna be thoroughly excited. Because after a while of playing this game, I come to realize like, yo, this is the perfect balance. This is what you can do. I don't know for the ones that really want a taller build, center build, and they want that 6'8", this is gonna be the build for you. All right now as usual you still got to go power forward the best bang for your buck so you want to do that all right then what you want to do is you got to go with that pure red pure red is all in all it's just going to be if you're going to be tall center build having pure red is the best bet shorter you can go red and blue but still pure red is just very toxic all right so we want to go to pure red and then of course you still want to go speed invert because as you can see when i was running my um wager having vert just really 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 it, it, it goes a long way trust me all right if you're watching the wager videos or my wagers live you know what i'm talking about all right now what we're gonna do here is this we're gonna max out just the top four that's it just the top four all right that's all we're gonna do here then we're gonna skip all the shooting as you know we don't need none of that then you want to max out your pass accuracy your ball handling and then go 46 on your post moves before playmaking badges then of course you want to max everything out right here okay everything okay so what you're looking at is 16 4 and 30. we all know how powerful this is and i don't want to go on a too much on the tangent or kind of go off the off, off track here but one thing 2k has to do they have to separate defense and rebounding having it all together as one just makes these demigod builds right and what i'm saying is is this is that when you make a pure red that can get rebounding and play extremely good defense and get contact dunks that's where you start watering up the meta right and now like i said this should be another video that i'm gonna do in a couple weeks before 2k22 comes out but you can't have all those things within one pie chart because if you do then what is the purpose of making anything else you see what i'm saying so i know a lot of y'all y'all want demigod builds but y'all really don't want demigod builds because the fact is all you see is play shots and paint beasts or glass cleaning finishers in the park that's it because those two pie charts give you too much freedom to do whatever you want right but anywho that is another topic at hand right so anyway so what you want to do is this you want on your body type you do want to go built because we're all going to lower that weight a little bit but check this out we're going to go up to 610 okay so now instead of being 68 paint beast we're going to be a 610 paint beast okay and then what you want to do is you want to get your weight and drop it all the way down to 219 that's all you want to do is 219 right there then what you want to do with your wingspan you know you got to max it out so now let's talk about a few things here okay again this is how toxic this pie chart is you look at your physicals you get a plus eight right you know you get a plus four from hitting 95 to 99 then you get another plus four from going um for even doing these three things either a going into my career play at least 50 games okay sim out the rest of the season play every playoff game all right play every playoff game win the championship and you'll get gym rat okay so that's either a b just hit superstar two in the park and you'll get gym rat or c what a lot of people do just go to the gatorade facility get a plus four on the workouts and that's how you get a plus four the extra plus four right so an 81 speed a 79 acceleration and a ridiculous 93 bird bird <laughs> bird right <laughs> and um you see right here with your speed an 81 speed is it, listen the ideal speed that you will want to be, okay, to be able to be competitive, to, to stay within um, anybody, is to be at 80 or above in speed, okay? 80 and above. But 81 is good 
um, obviously. It's gonna allow you to be competitive. Is it the most comp? No, but when we're talking about new meta, we're talking about builds that are gonna be mostly in the park. You're not in the stage. An 81 speed in the park at 610 is gonna really, really hold it down for you. Trust me, all right? Now, you get a plus four to your finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, slash rebounding. Now, this is where things get crazy. So, at 610, you'll still have an 86 driving dunk. So you'll be able to get the pro and the elite contact dunks. And you'll be able to get the big man contact dunks. You'll be able to get all three contact dunk packages. And then, of course, on your pass accuracy, you have a 70 pass accuracy, which is going to allow you to be pass the ball on um, outlet passes really well. So this will be good in the rec. And then also an 86 interior defense, which is crazy, with the 78 parameter and lateral quickness. So you can see as a paint beast, you have a higher interior defense, a little bit lower perimeter defense and a lot of quickness but you still have enough at a 78 which is just toxic okay and then with your steals you're having 81 steal so an 81 steal and then 99 block and offensive defensive rebound by going to, to 610 you'll get 99 block offensive defensive rebound which is just toxic so as you can tell this is a really 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 good potent build and it's at 610 okay obviously you want to go glass take here that's the most op compared to rim protector and then here you have my nephews and nieces. You have the new meta paint beast. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to test the build out real quick. We'll get 99. And then, of course, we'll get you out of here. Now, um, like I said, when we talk about new meta, new meta is mostly for the park. So that's why things are a little bit different. Okay. You want to go um here. You want to go put back balls. You want to go consistent finisher. You want to go relentless finisher. And then you want to go slithery. Okay. So those are the most important. You can get showtime if you feel like you're going to be out in front. You can get showtime. Maybe you can drop down, uh, maybe relentless, and go here if you want to get showtime. Um, that's a good one to have, to be honest with you. Um, relentless is really, really good if you're if you're not going to be the one that's, for some reason, say perform, you're going to be one trying to score a lot, all right? But this is what I would go with. Consistent finishers is obvious. There's going to be a lot of putback attempts, and this is what you want to have because that's going to allow you to get those dunks. And, of course, Slithery improves the ability to avoid contact when attacking the rim. I mean, that's just pretty self-explanatory. So I'm here. And then here you just want to go Slithery off ball just to help with getting open on the off balls. And then I'm um, here. What you want to do is you want to get your where are you at? Okay, here we go. Quick first step. Quick first step is just very, very important. It's just going to allow you to be able to, when you get the opportunity to blow by somebody, you can do that and then get unpluckable on bronze. There shouldn't be a lot of dribbling going on anyway with this build. And then, of course, here you have a lot, but you want to get box, you want to get brick wall, chase down, you want to get intimidator. I'm going to go off the main ones first. Rebound chaser, rim protector, and where are you at? Okay, pogo stick. Let's just go just on silver worm. We want to go ahead and get that maxed out. That's just going to help you get that out. And then, of course, you want to go ahead and get your interceptor, okay? Now, what I kind of do sometimes is I do go ahead and get clamps on bronze just in case you get that center that tries to dribble on you. This right here should be enough to allow them to pick the ball up, but you have to do it before they get into their speed glitch because if you don't, they're going to blow right by you, all right? It's just pretty toxic, right? But anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the new meta paint beast build. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like. You subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite O'Head Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the banger, man. You know, when I said back soon on the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. If he cough for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop out the top of no transform. I'm in my ducking and dodging on the corner. Don't want flip with a breed like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go ahead.